Hi, my friends, BehindTheChair.com, Sam Via here, Redkin Global Artistic Ambassador, here at the Premier Orlando Show. One of the things you can't miss is tonight's Stylist Choice Awards, BehindTheChair.com. You have to be there, guys, an event you don't want to miss. But more importantly, it's all about hair here in Orlando at the Premier. So I'm going to walk you through a really cool look, and it's a, just another way to create some pigtails, because it's all about that festival hair. So I'm just going to take a section, I'm going to bring it over the opposite side, I'm going to grab another section, I'm going to make a ponytail off to the left side. Okay, so we're going to take an elastic, use an elastic. Now the elastics, I'm going to use black because I want these to be seen. Okay, now one of the most important things though is product. So I'm going to work with my Braid Aid 03 from Redken. And I love this in terms of just giving me a little bit of moisture, a little bit of more control in terms of when I'm working with my section. So remember, we've always talked about this product. It's not an option, it is a necessity. Now watch what we're going to do. We're gonna reach underneath and grab a section. So over the past, I've taught you to reach over the top and cover the elastic. We want the elastic exposed this time to create these pigtails. Okay, so I'm gonna come across, I come back across, and I grab another section over on this side. Okay, then I'm gonna take my elastic and make another pigtail on this side. Okay, once again, I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna grab from underneath, underneath, and then I bring it across, and now I add this to that section. Okay. Once again, elastics are exposed. So I find myself moving away from braiding and working a lot more with elastics to create a, a braid effect, but more well, getting into a lot of ponytails and working with elastics. Now, one of the things with elastics, as we all know, they can be abrasive on the cuticle surface. One of the things that I love to do is take Redken's Braid Aid 03, coat the elastics with Braid Aid 03. So you basically buffer the elastic and you're buffering the cuticle so you don't get such a hard indentation. Look how I reach underneath. As I reach underneath, excuse my back as I step across, and now I add this to the opposite side. Okay, now once again, elastics are exposed so you could use colorful elastics I wanted you to see them so I'm using black on blondes for the contrast for you step across always stepping back across and remember place the elastics so that they're kind of separated I'm not taking these ponytails really tight okay I take from underneath now here's what I love about this so pigtails are great in the front it's gonna look like she's got two ponytails but when she walks away that's where you ha it has visual value in terms of when you look at the back the way it's folded across it just creates a sense of conversation once again I come underneath grab a section I walk to the opposite side take my elastic coated with braid aid 03 okay come through place that in and now I walk to the opposite side. So you can see, as I work my way down, I continue to get a very narrow section in the center, okay? So you're adding hair as you go to each ponytail, okay? Remember, just a slice. So I take a slice on the left of that. Now I move to the right side, and I add it to the ponytail. Real simple to do. So here's the idea, my friends. The idea is this. When a client like this comes in with this beautiful long blonde hair, you go through, you decolorize it, you highlight it, then you come through, you blow dry it, you trim the end, ends, and then they walk out. It's summertime. If they're gonna ask, are you gonna put your hair in a ponytail? Great. Well, let's do really something really cool that's different. Now, if you look at her in the mirror here, now you're starting to see the pigtail in the front. So if you come to the front, you turn, you start to see just two ponytails and a pigtails. But I like to just think that this is a little bit more modern in terms of what we're doing and how we're doing it. And it just gives it a total different take on pigtails. Come through, just really relax, pulling out some hair and making it very casual in terms of the way that we're working with it. Is there anything you would do to like prep the hair specifically? Or? Yes, I've gone through, thank you for asking. Would I do anything to prep the hair? I've gone through and you can see I've worked with the Sanvia Texture Iron. So I've gone through and textured the hair. That gives the hair three times the volume, and it also gives it a sense of visual character to it when you look at it. So it is prepped. Then I also used my Guts 10, Redken Guts 10, and I did a directional blow dry all going back. Directional blow dries, when you're working with upstyles, even these kind of simple things are so, so important. So that's what I worked with in terms of prepping it and getting it ready. But my product of choice when I worked with the texture iron, that mini crimping iron, is I worked with Iron Shape 11, which is a thermal heat protector. So, hope you enjoyed it. 
Behindthechair.com. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.